Hi Libra, welcome to Angel Love 333. We're going to do your weekly reading. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, you're safe, you're doing great. Um, a couple things before we get started with your reading. One, um, I will have an extended reading link below. It will be for the love portion only of the reading. Uh, for this reading, uh, I do pick up any energies that I see, whether it's money, career, finances, you know, situations with family, friends, whatever it is. But uh, the extended will only be for love, okay? Second item, I do give away free personal readings each month. Uh, to enter, you just need to subscribe to the channel and also like the video. I will say, too, I'm trying to incorporate giving away free extended readings as well and also picking a winner um, from the extended readings as well. So that's upcoming, too. So just know that. So with that, Libra, let's just get started with your reading. Let's pull the energy here for Libra. Oh, I thought that was going to be the card. Let's get the energy here for Libra. What's the overall energy for Libra? There it is. Okay. Oh, look at that. The star card. Very nice energy here. Okay. Energy here of coming into balance here, coming into alignment. You may be feeling really connected or you're going to be. Aquarius energy as well. There may be some sort of wish fulfillment with that. Um, I, I see that too as an energy here that there is definitely a lot of possibilities I feel that are going to open up to you as well. But let's uh, pull some additional messages, see what else comes out. Okay, so you have the three of water. Nine of Air, Hierophant, Two of Earth, Five of Air, Okay, Page of Air, okay. Definitely picking up your energy here, Libra, with this Air energy. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Ace of Water. All right. So right off the bat here, uh, Libra, I'm picking up energy. There's something here I feel you're dancing around, okay, in your thoughts here, okay? Something that's keeping you stuck. Something here I feel that maybe you are in conflict with. This could be the healing I see here with the star card. Um, I see here too, you know, I feel this could be a challenge, okay? There could be some challenge or block here. Let's look at here. Let's see, you have the three of water and you have the two of earth. So there's some sort of um, situation I feel you're going back and forth with. Could be back and forth with a particular person here, but I feel like it's causing you some sort of conflict or causing you some sort of worry. And, you know, I feel like this is definitely affecting your happiness, all right? So it may be that this energy here is, you know, putting you in a place where there may be some healing that's needed there may be some restoration of balance that is needed we're going to clarify the cards we'll see what this is about you have you know the nine of air and the five of air this is where i feel here you know there's a situation i feel like you may be in conflict that's keeping you stuck making you feel in limbo can't even be an energy here where you're in this worry, anxious energy, okay? And maybe you're not seeing things clearly, all right? Or being your true authentic self. This can be somebody here you're dealing with as well, but this is showing up in your energy. Now you have the Hierophant and you have the Page of Air. So some of you, I feel, may be coming to a place where you're really investigating spirituality. You're learning more about spirituality, about yourself. Um, because of this conflict I see, Maybe, and I, you know, definitely picking up some sort of imbalance. So some of you may be doing some, some spiritual uh, searching here. Okay, some investigating, maybe doing some learning here, maybe even some teaching, I get. Okay, 
Now, bottom of the deck here, you have the Ace of Water, okay? And you have the Five of Fire. So I feel emotionally there's some sort of struggle here that you are going through. But I see, you know, that changing, upcoming here with the Empress card. I see a rebirth here, okay, within you. I still see self-development here. I see getting to a place where you're going to feel more balanced, especially with that star energy. So let's see what's, uh, what else we can find out about this situation. Why is the three of water here and the two of earth here, please? Why is the three of water and the two of earth here, please? You have the devil card, strong Capricorn energy. You have the three of wands. Okay, two of cups. Feeling like a love situation. You have the eight of cups here as well. So I see you pondering, okay? Maybe you're waiting for a situation here, waiting for a specific person. But I feel like this is more so you feeling unsatisfied, right? Feeling something here isn't giving you what you need or it is something here toxic or unhealthy. It can be that there can be behaviors here in the situation, okay, with the devil card, all right? Um past behaviors or things that are not working here and i feel that you know some of you may be exploring your options when it comes to love i feel there could be somebody here definitely that maybe you're still strongly attached to maybe you're waiting for this person to return okay this can be that on and off energy maybe one minute you feel you know really happy with this person but the next minute you know, you're like, okay, I'm going to go see and date other people. I'm kind of getting that energy here. I feel a definitely an energy here of not feeling satisfied, not feeling satisfied, maybe exploring your options. Why is there a future with me and this person? Is this somebody who really makes me happy? Okay, could be dealing with a Capricorn there, but Let's see now why what, Why is the nine of air and the five of air. I really feel you're in a place of, of limbo or caught up in your head about this. You have the four of pentacles. You have the star card. You have the ten of wands and you have the five of wands. Okay. I feel that this is somebody here, definitely picking up relationship here, very strong relationship here, okay? This could be somebody toxic in your life, somebody that is very close and dear to your heart, doesn't have to be a love, a lover, but you do have the lovers here, strong Gemini energy. I feel there's an energy here where you're, you're still feeling attached to this person, and that's why you're still caught up in your head here, Okay. Very attached to this person here. Maybe you saw this one as somebody for the long term. But I get here with the Four of Pentacles, like you're still holding on to it, okay? Now, you could be just holding on to the conflict, what has transpired between the two of you, what was toxic between the two of you, right? What was unhealthy in the connection or the relationship here. But I also see here you do, you, you're trying to find your balance, right? Trying to find your healing here. Maybe that's an investigation I see with spirituality and you have the ten of wands and you have the five of wands i feel you're struggling here to release this you're struggling here to release um letting go of this person or maybe there was some sort of conflict that you and this person had and you just can't get that off of your mind so i feel like you're 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 struggling here to release this burden okay and it may be because, like I said, it feels like you have a very strong attachment with this person, but it also feels here with the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Wands that there was something unhealthy here, okay? Maybe somebody here who has been in and out of your life, somebody who's been hot and cold, somebody who may have even, you know, been de deceptive or, you know, lied or cheated or something like that. Let's clarify now why the Hierophant and the Page of Air is here. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Hierophant and the Page of Air, of Air here, please? You have the Queen of Wands. You have the Page of Wands. Look at that. Seven of Swords. 
and the death card okay you have a uh, strong scorpio energy there and bottom of the deck here you have the seven of cups okay i feel like a lot of you here um are doing some self-work here right listening to your inner self here i feel like you're taking action you know towards spirituality maybe watching tarot readings maybe doing some meditation connecting um with source here okay maybe doing some praying some mantras uh, you know, again, meditations, but I see you here investigating all of this for your higher self. Okay. Maybe even finding your higher purpose here. I do see, even though you're struggling with letting this go, I feel like you're, you're moving your energy in this direction and maybe that's what you're being guided here to do. All right. To focus the energy on you. Okay. To, um, I feel here to help you with the emotions here. Look at that. You have the Ace of Cups here as well. So there is some sort of gift I feel that's coming out of it. This is my gift card. This is my yes card. This is, you know, the universe bringing you emotional fulfillment. So I feel you're going to go through a period of time with mixed emotions or you are going through a mixed emotions. Look at that. You have the Ace of Water twice here. Okay, so there is some sort of gift coming out of, coming out of this. Look at that beautiful pearl. Okay, that may be a gift within you, discovering you, discovering what you're all about. Uh, maybe discovering your life purpose can be even a new a new love offer coming in. So let's see what we have here. So you have the the Queen of Wands and you have the Page of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and you have the Death card. Okay. I feel it's a situation where something ended between you and someone, and I feel this person betrayed you, they lied, they cheated, you know, maybe even stole. They did something here that I feel that you're having a hard time getting past, having a hard time letting go. And I feel you're turning to your higher power or spirituality here to help you. I do see here with the Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands, this is about you taking action for yourself. Okay, so that you can feel passionate again, so you can feel motivated, so you can feel enthusiastic. Some of you may be, you know, like I said, learning, like you're the, the student learning more about, you know, spirituality and your connection here with the divine. That's what I'm getting. And that might be the gift. You know, that might be the gift from this situation. You know, it feels like it is a... I'm getting very strong vibrations, so I want to tell you this very strong message for you. That may be the gift here is that, you know, you went through a pretty difficult situation and it's a hard thing to get past. But through your healing, through your inner work, through your connection here with the divine, why you, the divine is bringing you to a place of alignment, okay, where you can feel balanced, where you can feel good about yourself. Right. Maybe, you know, you find your life purpose and, and now you're that shining star, right? You're exuding your star energy out into the world, showing the world your talents. I feel that is the real gift here from what I'm picking up. Now, for some of you, you know, this can not even be new love coming into your life. So let's pull. I'm going to pull three final messages here for you, Libra. And depending on what the messages say is what I will do in the extended. So let's see what these final three messages are here for you, Libra. Okay, you have the 10 of air. <laughs> well, at least it's a, pro a, a progression here from, what did you have? The 5 to the 7 to the 10. So that's going to end. That worry is going to end. Now, look at that, the world card. And the ace of fire yes beautiful libra and you also have here the hangman okay so uh, actually i'm not going to do an extended for this reading libra only because i don't feel this is really about getting back together with this person i feel this is really about finding yourself through a 
a relationship that didn't work, okay? And there's a reason it didn't work. And I feel that's because the universe, your higher power here, wants you to be in alignment, okay? They want you to see things from a different perspective and so that you know that what you sacrificed was not for nothing, okay? It was for your own personal growth and your own personal development there. So I do see that worry energy. I do see that energy coming to an end here, okay, with the 10 of air, okay, a difficult situation, but it's a situation that brings about a new beginning, a renewal here, seeing the light, seeing that there is a whole new world of opportunities here, and you're going to find, right, you're going to find that key here, okay, that opens up all those opportunities, and that key is within you, some of you may even may even do some traveling, okay? I feel that energy as well. Maybe go to a power place, right? Now, you also look at that, Ace of Wands. This is that passion, this birth of this passion I see within you, the universe bringing you here an opportunity. So there may be some sort of opportunity that comes your way that may get you motivated again, may get you feeling passionate again. It can be new love. All right, it can be new love, but this also can have to do with your spirituality, okay? Just a place where you're shifting in a new direction, you're finding your passion within, and that that is definitely here what I am getting. So since I'm not going to take this to the extended Libra, I'm going to pull a few um, guidance messages here for you. You have the resting tree. This is about patience and still and stillness. Okay. So it can be that hermit energy. Okay. So there may be a period of time, right? That you're just going to need to take time to yourself, get your rest, right? To really gain your clarity, to rejuvenate. Okay. Maybe even getting outdoor. The lady uh, of the gift, this is generosity, this is receiving, and this is with, withholding here. So I feel you're in a situation here where, okay, I see here, you know, you, I'm, I'm going to say here, I'm hearing you are a gift here. The universe wants you to know, spirit wants you to know that you are a gift here. And you don't have to give your attention and you don't have to give to somebody here you know, who may have betrayed you or somebody here who may have cheated or lied, all right? They want you to know that you have a lot to offer. Some of you may have some sort of gift or talent that they want you to share with the world. I'm going to say that. I'm getting that energy as well. But I feel it's a time here where there is going to be change, right? And you have to decide, though, that you want that change, okay? That's what I'm getting there. You have the ice ice queen. This is ideas preserved, non-action, and entitlement. Okay. So um, there may be a period of time where you just need to take time to yourself, right? Not do anything. You know, um, pull back. You may even need to get some rest. I get that as well. But this also can be an energy where I feel there could be some sort of block where you're not listening to your intuition or you're not listening um, to your wisdom all right bottom of the deck here you have Gaia's garden this is about fruition abundance and reaping what you sow okay so I feel there is karmic rewards coming in here for you okay there is definitely a new vitality I am getting here and you know look at that star energy some of you I feel you're being led on your your higher purpose your path, you have some sort of gift or talent to share with the world. Some of you, this is just about your spirituality and your healing, okay, and finding your balance again. So uh, Libra, with that, I hope this reading helped you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.